All right. On to part um six. Yeah, I think so. Not really sure. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was listening to Sardis. 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 Let my magical energy flow out. This will at least wash the color off this marker. Oh, Lancer, poor baby. Suddenly. Is it to stop the eraser? 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 Is that how you spell eraser? That's how you spell. Are you. you is that how you spell eraser? Okay. I'm having like a really dumb moment right now. <laughs> eraser. That's so fucking weird. Uh, uh this this is really blo no. I'm sorry, but I need to like fucking pause. You serious? Wait, no, hold. That's not high school eraser. That's a hold up. <laughs> oh, seriously? You. No, no, that's not high school. That's okay. They're two completely different things. All right. Oh, wait. But how do you pronounce it? I don't, I don't fucking erase your sure. I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't really care anymore. But okay. Damn. That's shocked the hell out of me. As it's done, erase sure. The magic field. The voice echoes over. I could stand up and turn around. Oh shit! Whoa! What the hell? Hey, it's Lancer. You dead though. <laughs> so sad. I could stand up and turn around on top of the water tower. In the sky, ten meters away, a guy is looking down at me. Deep ultramarine that melts into the night. His grin is wild and a bestial smell carries on the air. Wind. The stare of the beast is a cool one. The, you, you straight up, like in um I was rewatch re we watching. We watching odd uh, episode seventeen with um just the part with Archer and uh, Lancer fighting. And when um there was an explosion or something, right? And then it's like, it was like really light in the back, but it was dark in the front with Lancer and then the stance or whatever. His red eyes popped the shit out of that. I was just like, whoa, that shit just piercing my soul right now. So I'm just like, yeah, yeah, totally. He, 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 yeah, his stare is really cool. The man who looks at me like an old friend, even in this situation. I don't know if that's towards because he likes women or he legit knows you. Like, like, like how. Or just Emmy. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. This is your powers. No, I'm not fighting the demon. I'm just fighting the demon. I'm just fighting the demon. I'm just fighting the demon. Standing on top of a fucking school building when he looks like a grown ass man with a lance in his hand. Fucking what do you, what do you think, Tosaka? What do you think? Stupid. So <laughs> tomo. It's like so fucking I was, if I was in that situation I'd be like, oh shit, he's a servant. Like what the <laughs> what random ass dude would wear this? It's would uh, My spine freezes. Normal light tone of voice. Uh, and it's colder than anything I've ever heard. It's scary enough to make me vomit. Oh shit! What? What's going on? I can't tell. I should. I can't tell how I should move or what my best course is. But my reason is telling me absolutely not to fight this man right here. Too late. Oh, taish ta monda. Nani mo wakarane yo de yo ten wa osaete yagare. Who voices Lancer? I feel like I feel like I've heard him. Ah, shippai shita na kore ya. I'm just really sad he's dead. Ugh. The man raises his arm. Ugh. Oh, look at her. I cried for you. Like, I did not think I would cry, but I did. <laughs> it happens in an instant. The arm that held nothing until now. Oh, oh, yeah, he. Uh, it's Gabe Old. 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 Oh shit, already? Wait, what? I uh, jumped inside without thinking. Oh yeah, that's when she did that thing in the anime when she jumped out. That was pretty cool. I can't spare the time to consider that I can't jump full force while on the rooftop. I just jump with full force to the side as if trying to ma smash the fence. Ew, what the? <laughs> Why are you standing like that? <laughs> A whirlwind brushes past my hair. <laughs> Barely made it. He brushed me in the 
He rushed me in a eye blink. Eye blink? Okay, I never heard of that before. I mercilessly slashed at the space I just occupied. Yes, <laughs> it's Ojo-chan. Ojo-chan. The blue whirlwind pursues me. There's no- there are no escapes. The fence is behind me to my side, so no, I won't make it. Jump, bitch. There you go. My response is fast. I run the magic crest on my left arm and assemble the magic in a single measure. It li lightens my body and adjusts gravity. In this instant, my body becomes light as a feather and I leap. Leap. I just jump over the fence and fall from the roof. This is like bring me back to the first episode for the first season. Like that shit was bomb. That shit was so bomb. The wind and pressure pushed against my body. I think there's soon to set ground. One by seven seconds until landing. No, that's too slow. Hope I Oh my god, this is so great. <laughs> is, oh man, I let Archer take the impact of the landing and start to run as soon as my feet touch the ground. First, I had to change the location. We had to go somewhere we can move around freely, not a small place like a rooftop. We have to move to a large field with no obstacles to play to Archer's and my strengths. <laughs> Are you tired or no? I run from the rooftop to the school ground in less than 7 seconds. It's more than 100 meters. My speed is so fast that normal people would see only a blur. But that's... Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Cause, like, it's all stretchy here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm killing. Meaningless against the servant. Nacha! 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 Oh, oh. Oh. At the moment, I step back. Archer steps in front, taking form. A cloudy night. In Archer's hand is a short sword that reflects the weak moonlight. Hey. The man crooks his mouth. Hey, ne. So, konakcha. A large whirlwind. Whirlwind. Whir whir that's the woman swung at. Wait, that's the woman swung at me on the rooftop. The blood red crimson lance that tried to mercilessly slaughter me. Dancer no servant. Ikanimo. So you anta no servant. Look at him, just like all fucking stance, ready to go. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. What the hell? Ew, what is this? <laughs> who, who the hell are you? There's no sign of this previous casual demeanor. In response to Lance, Lancer, full of murderous intent, Archer remains silent. The distance between the two is about five meters. The weapon in Lancer's hand is about two meters. For that man with the bestial smell, I feel like the remaining three meters are meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... He got them a little bit of lay work, so just saying. Archer doesn't respond to the sneering voice either. Confronting each other strangely are red and blue. <laughs> the two counterfeit colored knights are already watching from for the others clenching blow. This He said he'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Arja does not respond. There's nothing to say to an enemy he must defeat. That steel back of his seems so to declare his style. I mean, look at his back, it's just all muscly. That makes me realize I'm being stupid. Arja is just waiting for my word, my command. Arja. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just love how she's like, I'm so fucking stupid right now. Archer, go fight right now. I'll talk to his back without. Was that a laugh? That didn't sound like a laugh. It sounded like he was like, like, damn. Like he like he got hurt or some shit. I don't know. He grins as if they answer my words, and the red light dashes forward. Twirling like, gusts of wind. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know that? Look at it. He does look like Emilia. Yeah. Like, if you just push the hair. No, actually. Wait, how did Emilia's hair look like before? It was like, yeah, like a little bit in the front. Yeah. And if you took off the tan, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Short sword in hand, the red bullet dashes, lunches. Look at him. He was just like Simbad. Look, it reminds me of Simbad so much. You fool. Oh, never mind. He already said that. Yeah, who what beats him is a blue spear thrust. The dashing archer is a raging wind. The responding spearhead is a divine wind. I guess he's divine. Um, I guess. 
the zone is long, a slant to the butt thrust. On to parry is the thrust of the highest speed land, so it's a sword sword. <laughs> the one I read stops. The enemy did not prevent Ar the archer's rush. The enemy doesn't even let him get within two meters the range of the spear. For a long weapon, distance is always preferred. As Lancer has a weapon almost two meters long, he only needs to attack when the enemy comes within his range. Pressing at an approaching uh, enemy is easier than moving at himself. But even so, Lancer closes the distance himself and doesn't even follow Archer to move forward. Okay. Well, I mean, he has, he has short swords, so... His temper is like a burning fire, and Lancer closes in with each blow, with no thought of stopping. With a long weapon, it's suicidal to close in to an enemy. The Spearman's tactic is to use their long range to defeat the enemy in the battle. So as Lancer is just advancing unchecked, he doesn't have a chance of winning. But that's just by the book. Lancer's lance shows no vulnerability as it strikes for the throat, shoulders, forehead, and heart. Thrusts so fast even the after images are blurred. As each strike of his lance repels, rebuffs, and pushes back, Archer, anyone, pressure back Archer, uh, any one of his thrusts could be called the final blow. But even as a bowman, Archer is a servant. No ordinary attack can be the final blow. See, that's what you think, but then after Lancer does that thing, when he throws the shit to the heart, I, I don't know what you want, I don't know, but yeah, gay bold. Um, Having repelled the lance, aim at his forehead, Archer closes in with speed superior to Lance's, Lance's lance. Based on his shape, you might think that the main attack of the lance is a thrust, but the basic strength of the lance is his swing. Oh, really? This is because a, win a wide swing using its long range does not allow the enemy to dodge it by the attack. Oh, that makes, oh, that makes sense. A partial retreat. Did I just read that? No, I did. Pressure retreat does not allow speed, but it attempts to counter attack the whole new zone and splash stuff. That's... I did not know that! But simply going for it will end up in a smashed rib from the long shaft of the slants. Of, like, slants. Archer and Lancer are similarly built. They have the same fucking outfit, too, just saying. <laughs> they really do! Like, come on. They, they kind of do have the same latex kind of... Because every time they fucking move, like, when they sit and they get up, you hear that latex. Or leather, or whatever type of material it is. Like they, they had the same outfit. They went to the same sword, didn't they? On top of that, it's harder for Lance. It's hard for Lance to play archer, I meant, but no heavy armor to step into range of a Lance swung up world. That's why you need to jump up in the air, get your bow out, and start shooting away. The girls are a different story. The blazing fast start starting to strike you is certainly scary, but as long as the attack targets the point, there are many ways to avoid it when you see it. And as Archer did just then, hitting the shaft with a whole Lance to redirect it slightly creates an opening. It must be because he underestimated the bowman. The advantage of a long weapon is he likes to freedom of his range. Once Lancer has his guard of these advantages himself, he's he's it. His speed is <coughs> the one in red stops. A nightmare like time is reversing. Thrust is faster than the previous one. <coughs> Archer tries to parry the blow, but he gets flickered, flicked away along with his weapon. Oh no! There are no openings in Lancer's attack. No, not just that, the thrust increase in speed and power without limit it becomes a final blow even for a servant. <coughs> we were the ones that underestimated him for that servant. Cause Lancer's strong as shit! For that servant, for Lancer's weapon, there are no general rules about Lancer's. Who could ever parry continuous attacks without even space to breathe between them? Archer manages to shoot a bit and parries, but, and as a result, distance uh, between them opens a little. That distance, Lancer uses that distance as a runaway to launch an even more powerful attack. God damn it! The raging, the raging continuous attacks is only a repetition that. Uh, but the blows themselves are godlike. Ten blows already. No, it must actually be many times more than that. The heavy rain of a lance pours, well, where it lands pours with yet more strength, trying to skewer Archimedea. It's not fast, but it's just skill. It looks like a horrible. <laughs> What did Archer do as he's not on the defensive? With such a short card, he only parried the blitz. Um, parry, parry away! He has no way to close on land. Close, what? To close on, close, close on that. Oh yeah. And he continues to retreat. The vacuum of a vacuum steel on the Support, I have to back Archer up or my throat to respond. A magic has poor aim. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, you shit, and you call yourself a first mate? Okay. Unless Archer gets far away from this, I will hit him with my magic as well. 
Such an opening would only increase Lancer's, ad Lancer's advantage. And besides, frankly, I'm, ca I'm captivated. This is a battle between servants. This is the Holy Grail War itself, where we use heroic spirits, the highest rank of familiar who we would never otherwise attain. Servants. Servants. Familiars of different classes that obey the seven masters. These are the highest ranked familiars called heroic spirits that the Holy Grail summons. So it's misleading to call them familiars. Originally, familiars were just beings that kept grand errands for the goddess. Imagine perhaps a cat in boots. Haha! -ha! Or a cute white bird! Or a black dog that doesn't obey his master or something like that. Familiars that are mere magus can summon are. Wait, what? Familiars that a mere magus can summon are of that level. Mere familiars are just familiars. They are only mascots that run errands for the masters, so they cannot be being stronger than their masters. But servants are different. They are the most powerful beings. Even for sorcerers, of which there are only five in this world, it would probably be impossible to form a contract with them. It's not that the summoning is hard, or even that the ability of the servant crosses that of the magus. What, Misty? I'm playing a game. Servants themselves are beings above magic. Here we go again! They're safe. Good! You actually stopped! Oh my god. I'll make it clear. Servants are heroes from the past. Myth, legend, fable, history. Fiction or not, the hu uh, fiction or not, the su superhuman beings who gain concrete concrete existence in folklore are what we call heroes. A hero that uh, becomes eternal in people's minds is no longer human after their death and is promoted to another form of existence. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. So how the fuck did Emya have the how how did how did Emya be I mean I know he became Archer but like was he in the hearts of a lot of people for him to be because like he has to be in like every single book and shit but so far he he only has like a like a small squad so it's just like I don't know all right he must like save save like so many fucking lives. From another type of disaster, like the last one, and then people are just like, Emia forever! And now it's just like, yeah, now I'm not Marger, I guess. <laughs> he wants to bring about miracles, save people, and achieve great deeds, and called heroes even after their death. Yeah. Um, after being so called, they are promoted to heroic spirits after their death and become guardians of humanity. It doesn't matter. Oh, we're not gonna look at the other people. Okay. It doesn't matter whether these people exist in reality or in their stories. It is people's minds, people's minds that create a hero. People's wishes that this is how things should be. Give them uh, form and set them up as real. Often, authenticity does not matter. They can have form as long as they have. They have fame as legend, and people have faith. Okay. Okay. The ultimate ideal humans have created. The greatest human people have created. These are the heroes, the heroic spirits. And of course, since they are beyond human, they cannot be controlled by humans. Amagas usually borrows their magic power only to mimic them. Ha! Huh, mimic! Archer! They can't summon the hero spirits themselves. But the Holy Girl made that impossibility, possibility, reality. If someone's a heroic spirit beyond human control and turns it into a familiar, familiar, obedient to master. Um, the nonsense is proof that the Holy Girl is almighty. Um. And with the passing of years ignored, the heroic spirits are summoned. The most recent from a hundred years ago, the oldest from the ancient days. The seven heroic spirits obey each of the seven masters, protect them, and eliminate the masters of that name. Heroes, heroes from every age and country are revived into the present day to kill one another for supremacy. For supremacy. That is why this ritual is called the Holy Grail War. Oh shit, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> but it seems the Holy Grail has its limits, too. Even the Holy Grail cannot indiscriminately call unto the spirit like being. I can't read. This is a form invented by the humans of the card of the imaginary known as Devil Big Form. Wait, what? This is a form invented by the humans of the known as Devil. What? The other spirits also need a form of Oh. So you can form the Devil if you want to? The form is a temporary name in the way they exist in this world. Holy Grail has furnished classes so that the hero spirits may take more and more easily. It is only only summons the hero spirits that match these classes. It's like a passport to the present as it sets up a role as a familiar event. By allowing the summoned heroic spirit to take on that role, it role it helps the spirits take form. If there are seven masters chosen by the Holy Grail, there are also seven servants obeying those masters. You said that like fucking three times already. There are seven furnished classes. Let's go. Not a sword, saber. Not of the lance, lancer. Not of the bow, archer. 
Mounted Soldier, Rider. Cool, cool. Magus, Caster. Silent Killer, Assassin. Uh, Mad Warrior, Bazaka. <laughs> Only the heroic spirits with attitudes. Uh, attitudes. Wait, the what the fuck is Gilgamesh? What? Never mind. Don't tell me. Don't tell me all. Don't tell me. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All the heroic spirits and attributes of these classes are summoned to the present to obey the master and become a servant. Cause all they call in it, I told they, I bet they said this in the anime. I just totally forgot. That's out of my mind right now. That is a servant system. A summoning in contact with the heroic spirit beyond human control to win the miracle beyond human grasp. Ultimate competition held only on this ground. The one and the only gro holy grail bar. <laughs> A loud crash. The short sword that deflected Lancer's lance flies from Arthur's hand. He can just make another one. This is Lancer's, Lancer's technique. A straight thrust that turns into a sweep on Archer's wrist. It was a blow Archer could not avoid even, even had he seen come. Oh shit. Oh shit. There is no effective way of carrying a Lancer's sword. A long rebuff only. A strong rebuff, rebuff only results in a stronger counterattack. A weak rebuff does not create a weakness. The important aspect of the battle between the sword and lance lies defeating the enemy when he is at the wrong range. Manuke. Shut up. There's no hesitation to answer. Move to push Archer's back stops. He must intend to end the match in a single instant. The stairs of the firmly placed oh yeah. The stairs of the firmly placed Lancer and swordless Archer in the flash. But he can make another one. In that instant, the lance is thrust just like a flesh plate. See? It can't even be seen. Forehead, neck and heart. His shots are launched and the one a fatal blow. But Bam bam bitch. The flash to flat uh, flash to death. <laughs> the flash too fast to see is repelled by a shining blade. <laughs> Trace on bitches. In the archer's hand is the short sword again. A sword like before, a Chinese sword, like a hatchet. But the biggest difference is <laughs> Yeah, a pair of swords. And his hands are matched swords, minor images of each other. <laughs> He said that in the anime. <laughs> Lancer's Lance flies. Ooh! Oh! That's really nice right here. I like this. I like, I like this. Very pretty. As if to finish Archer off, Lance, Lance moves back to Archer. Yeah, they get fucked up. Okay. Archer defends the burning spirit. His hawk like eyes say that he will not repeat anymore. No, that he. No. Uh, no, no. That he will only advance from now on. The clashing sounds are like a well orchestrated orchestrated music. Music, yes. Two steels clanging against each other, striking clashes, and people with them without pause. Battle of the two is like a vacuum. It's up in the air about them, and it seems like anything approaching it would be cut to pieces. The reality only lasts an instant, but me looking on it seems to be taking an infinity long time. Infinitely long time. Lancer tries not to let Archer hear him, while Archer advances with the swords and shields. Over a hundred blows have been thrown, and Archer loses his sword every time. But he fucking traces on that bitch and makes another one. But it's only for a moment as Archer has a sword in his hand, and the next instant pushes Lancer back a little behind. Lancer finally admits his carelessness. That even though he doesn't know who is before him, he will be the loser if he dismisses him as a mere person. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> the distance widens. Probably to recover, Lancer puts a large distance between them. His speed is extraordinary. Archer's change was out of this world, but it was still slow compared to Lancer. The movement of his retreat and had panther-like speed and agility. Trace <laughs> <laughs> <Trace> on. <laughs> Trace on. Lancer mutters in irritation. Now it's more like confusion. I feel the same way. According to Father, a servant carries only one weapon. You know he has a power copy and shit. Your weapon is filled with magical energy, so it's not something that can be created one after another, like my archer was just doing. Servants are heroes that sublim sublimate their spirits after death, equal equaling the holy spirits. To put it another way, they are like devils or angels. They are powerful familiars on their own, but their most powerful weapon is their proof of heroism, a magical item called the noble phantasm. A noble phantasm is a weapon or armor that, that ser the servant used when they were a hero and it's created as a last resort. Ah! Oh. Wait, no, but Archer said his was that area, didn't he? Didn't he say that? 
I totally forgot. Null Phantasm is the one and only weapon for a servant. This is because Null Phantasm is an ultimate weapon without equal. Lance that Lancer is using will show its powers in Null Phantasm when Lancer deems it necessary. A Null Phantasm is an impressive weapon by itself, but its true ability is to release all of its power using its true name. Human, oh not humans, heroes, weapons, will, which rule over all others and which have killed dragons and gods. <laughs> servants activate their renewal fantasy of using their magical energy, it's much like magic. Servants can recreate, recreate the destructions and legend using their renewal fantasy as a catalyst. Yeah, because you know, catalysts are like, they, they start the um, reaction. I learned that in chemistry class. Noble phantasms are never disposable. The swords that Archer brought out must be excellent, but they cannot be his noble phantasm. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay, then that's the area he was, yeah. He is a servant archer, so no phantasm he could deal with the bow. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Lance's irritation is understandable, even though Lancer fought as a spearman, Archer fended him off as a swordsman. Which means Archer hasn't shown any of his abilities yet, so it's natural for Lancer to feel ghastly. Because he's Archer. これほどの宗主は世界に3人と言いまい。そんな我が必殺の一撃を。ゲイボー。止めはしない。Look at uh, the only person allowed to breathe here is the warrior called Lancer. The lance in Lancer's hands is unmistakably unmistakably a demonic one, and now it is waiting to take its uh, true form in the moment. <laughs> He'll be beaten. I don't know what kind of mo phantasm that is, but Archer will be beaten. But he has that flower thing. It's implausible impl since this is the first time I've uh, felt such an intuition, but there's no doubt about it. Archer will die when the lance is thrust. It is determined. Literally, Lancer's Lance is the embodiment of inescapable death. Oh. Archer will be defeated. Archer Archer will die when Lancer pierces his heart. And yet, even though I know what's going to happen, I can't even help him. Because if I move him with a finger, that will trigger an attack. So if anything can stop this battle and stop Archer's defeat, it would be... Tarda! There you go. This is where we're going to end for today, because I know what's going to happen next. We're going to stop here, because I need to stop here. So, thanks for watching.